Eugene. Yes, I am familiar with her name. She is said to have quite a talent for the bow. She's the last person Glaciella would ever expect a betrayal from. She's perfect. How do you intend to utilize Eugene to divide Wizet? As you know, there are currently two factions at play within Wizet. The first are those who wish to abolish the monarchy and slowly dismantle the kingdom, transforming Wizet into an assembly of equals. This rationale comes from Glaciella. The other faction are those who wish to maintain the current monarchical system. Aside from existing members of the royal family and government ministers, there are a good many soldiers who adhere to this thinking. While Glaciella's side maintain the upper hand, they serve as a buffer of sorts. But if Glaciella were to fall... There would be no avoiding a clash between Glaciella's reigning supporters and the royalists who wish to maintain the status quo. Which means, if we were to... Allow me to remind you that under no circumstances is Glaciella to be assassinated. But, Lady Rosaluna... If the fighting were to intensify, one can readily estimate a great number of casualties. If we do not strike while the iron is hot... If you cannot follow orders, then leave my sight immediately. It is I who shall deliver Glaciella's last rites. Understood? Lady Rosaluna. What is it? The village chief of Tannis is here requesting an audience with you, my lady. Right. I shall meet with him immediately. It's a bit late to tell me to leave Glaciella unharmed after I already had instructions sent to Eugene. So, in order to cancel those instructions, I shall have to send someone into Wazef Castle. But who's to say whether Eugene hasn't already begun to put the plan into action, right at this very moment? And if anything happens, Fraser and I shall both surely be punished for disobeying orders. Rosaluna, that it was Fraser who made contact with Eugene. Then I shall be free of blame! Yes, I should definitely try this, and fast. <clears throat> Lady Sonia, I can hear everything yet again. D don't be getting the wrong idea. I was merely contemplating one potential course of action. Whether I shall carry that out or not is another matter. It sounded very much like you had made up your mind to take action immediately, mind you. Anyway, putting your plans to throw me to the wolves aside, I wonder if it will be much longer before Lady Rosaluna returns. Oh! She's probably still having her ears worn out by that village chief, petitioning her to put an end to the fighting. It would be so much easier if Wazette's army was deemed the villain in this affair. Unfortunately, Glacial is too widely adored by the masses for that to happen. I... I bring urgent news! Whatever has you so flustered? Enemy forces, approach! By enemy forces, you mean the army of Wazette? Yes, my lord. What is the meaning of this? Until now, the second party has never initiated any attacks. True. Glaciella and her friends only fight back in response to our raids. So why would they suddenly go on the offense against us now? Something about this does not add up. Either way, we can't just sit here and not fight back ourselves. Soldier, 
Report this to Lady Rosaluna, post haste. At once, my lord. Lady Sunil, you had best take command until Lady Rosaluna returns. Leave it to me. Time, Chancellor. Well, well, if it isn't Lady Glacella, to what do I owe the pleasure? I believe you to be the noble who holds the most sway within the castle, Chancellor. So I wish to beseech you. Oh, not this again. Please, for the sake of the people's welfare. You and the other ministers must give up your titles. I respectfully decline. <sighs> do not be mistaken, my lady. I do not cling to my position as Chancellor out of selfish desires. I humbly perform this duty for the sake of the kingdom. How many times are you going to make me say it? Abolishing the monarchy and nobility will not bring greater well-being to the people. That is nothing more than a fanciful dream. For instance, if there is no ruling class, then who shall command our army? Hmm? There are those who say we do not need an army either. Whilst they may not wish to wage war, I am not sure if the other great houses will maintain a similar sentiment. It shall become a sitting duck. Why can you not apprehend so obvious a conclusion? I am fully aware of that possibility, which is why I do not expect it to happen overnight, but gradually. That shall just delay the inevitable. <laughs> Before you go about advocating the toppling of the aristocracy, I would much prefer it if you could settle this Rosa Luna matter. Settle it in what way? In your last face-off with her, you came out victorious. So, one imagines a similar result this time as well. Anyway, it would be far more appropriate to discuss the future of our kingdom after we have dealt with the dissidents that infest our lands. It appears you have failed to persuade our dear Chancellor yet again. Cayenne. If it was left to me, his ilk would need a swift execution. <sighs> In any case, your prudence does have merit. It appears Rosaluna underestimates Old Rogal, and that itself is the Chancellor's strategy. He paints himself as someone insignificant who can easily be crushed at any time. Fooling everyone to think so has been Rogal's secret of success since back when he served Kuri. Never the spearhead in any matters, always discrediting himself, except when it comes to divvying up the spoils where he somehow manages to make off with the best share. I am sure you lost count of the number of treasurers who met with an arrow to the head during Kuri's reign. And yet Rogal somehow not only continued to meet Kuri's expectations, but grew his own personal wealth while he was at it. He is way more cunning than he appears, and if you aren't vigilant towards him, he will use that to his advantage. Be careful not to play into his hands. I am well aware of his methods. But currently, the Chancellor maintains a lot of influence. So I fear he will continue to have his way. I can understand why you feel that way. 
What makes Bregal so cunning is that he doesn't just keep the riches he pockets to himself. By sharing the misappropriated gains, he increases the number of accomplices, thereby ensuring his own safety. And to top it all off, he is an absolute master when it comes to finances. No one can do it better. Not even Fraser. If anyone were to remove him, then the whole country would feel the impact, and there would be hell to pay from the nobility and military. What a tricky situation we have on our hands. <sighs> that said, it is all thanks to Rosaluna that the Chancellor can keep having everything his way. What does Rosaluna have to do with it? You don't need to feign ignorance with me, Glacella. You are at your wit's end because of her. Rosaluna's grievance has some truth to it, after all. So it is only natural it would cause you concern. But I was impressed to hear you finally mustered the resolve to have her eliminated. What do you mean by have her eliminated? Why, did you not just order our soldiers to take down Rosaluna? I gave no such order! I see. So old Regal took it upon himself to issue that order then. I cannot believe the Chancellor would mobilize our forces without my knowledge. And yet he just did. By the gods! We need to stop this immediately! Stopping our soldiers will place you right back at square one again. You do realize. Yes, I am well aware of that. Many have suffered because I have spent too long fretting, not having the will to make a final decision. I cannot allow that to happen again. Even if that final decision is one that rips the beating heart right out of my chest. So, you have struggled that much to make a call on how best to deal with your half-sister. Perhaps this can be taken as a sign you have matured a little. However, you'll not find a solution which makes everyone happy. At least not that easily. Prepare for the great beyond, Glacella. Wow. It's amazing you're confident you can hit her from this far away. Uni, Severo. I never expected you would betray Lady Glacella like this, Ichi. Sergis's death is all Glacella's fault. Do you really believe that? Without a doubt. Did you know we were both present when the commander took his final breath? <gasps> the commander harbored no malice or hatred towards anyone, other than Kuri, that is. And his last words were, Do what is right for Wazat. That's what he begged of King Mark before he died. Don't you get it? Sergius' dying wish was for a Wizette without cooling, like we have now. But Glacella is about to betray that dying wish. What do you mean? 
She has become a bootlicker to the Chancellor and the rest of the nobility. Is that not proof enough? Then maybe you should hold off and watch a little longer. And why would I do that? Lady Glacella has strengthened her resolve. So you might best draw your own conclusion upon ascertaining what path she has actually chosen. <sighs> I hope she can open her eyes to the truth. We can only pray she does. Hmm. Oh! We have lost sight of Lady Glacella. I'm sure she's headed to the battleground to try and stop our soldiers. Then it's clear where we must go next. I think so too. Stand aside! This is your last warning! This is as far as you go, Lady Glacella. We must break the chain of oppressive tyrants such as Kuri. Yeah, so the best use of your blue blood would be to fertilize these frozen grounds. That's what the people of Wazek really want! So how about you put down your weapon, and make this easy? There's no need to worry. Yeah, we'll make yours a quick death. And painless, if you cooperate. I shall not stand down. For the sake of the people, I will never stand down! You choose the hard way, eh? Then we'll just have to take your life by force. Sorry, Sergis. I was unable to loose my arrow on Glacella. Even if Uni and Severo had not appeared just as I drew my bow, I probably would not have been able to go through with it. If only I had been there with you during your final moments. So you were able to come to an agreement with the remnants of Fennis, then? Yes, Chancellor. In the end, all it took was the Almighty Guild to arouse those nations' savages. Remnants of Fennis? What need would he have for them? At this rate, Nashella and Rosaluna shall surely face off against each other in the tour. It would be ideal if they kill one another. Even if they don't, they will both grow fatigued. Making them easy targets. Either way, it's good for Wisette. Neither Glacella nor Rosaluna are worthy to sit on the throne. But do not misinterpret my motives. I have no desire to become king myself. The ideal position for me is one where the kingdom simply could not continue to exist if it were not for my assistance. I prefer to avoid being hated, envied, or dare I say, desired for the gallows.
Rachella and Rosaluna will duel with one another again? So that is what Uni meant by Glacella having strengthened her resolve. I am sorry. It had to come to this. If I had not been so spineless, Blood would not have needed to be shed. But know that I shall put an end to this. So please, forgive me. You come all this way across the tundra with nary a single guard or attendant. Are you still somehow unaware of how important a position it is that you hold? <sighs> if something were to happen to you, Glacella, what would become of our countrymen that you leave behind? And to think, I believed you understood the gravity of your circumstances. And now you feel that being overly cautious before taking any action might again lead to the suffering or deaths of others. Thus, you are impelled to take some manner of action in order to not repeat the mistakes of the past. However, rash actions more than often lead one to make grave mistakes. The whole castle is abuzz with word that you intend to face off against Rosaluna. I imagine our old friend Chancellor Rogal was the one who spread those rumors. <sighs> and now I know it to be true. Oh, Rogal, you devil. It appears he has put a plan into motion to bring an end to both you and Rosaluna. The depravity of the Chancellor and other nobles runs deep. Rosaluna is not wrong when she says the dissolution of the nation of Huset must happen. We just need to take our time in doing so. Precisely. Especially when one considers that the whole of Ardra is still in a state of war. If Huset were to dissolve its governmental system right now, it would make us easy pickings for any of the great houses. It goes without saying that Leonis and Horn would surely come to our aid. However... That would cause them to divide up their military might and expose them to a similar danger. Additionally, we will need to clarify what to do about our armed forces. What will become of all those soldiers if we were to terminate their military service? If they suddenly find themselves without a way to make ends meet, then you may fall under banditry just to survive. The dismantling of a nation itself is simple. But rushing to do so shall surely cause misfortune to a lot of people. Why can Rosaluna not see something so obvious? Perhaps her hatred for her motherland clouds her vision. She suffered tremendous humiliation at the hands of Kuri, and the lands of her exile were unforgiving. If she had been able to defeat Kuri with her own hands, she may have found satisfaction or relief. However... You think she is now unable to lower the fish she once raised? Well, this is all just supposition on my account, of course. I believe you have somewhere you need to be. Take my chocobo. Thank you, Cayenne. One is left to wonder. A 
this shall all unfold. Sir Seymour, there is something I wish to ask you. Hey, cut it with the airs and graces, will you? Airs and graces? You are not beneath me, and I am certainly not above you. I realize that, that you were a compeer of my master. So you go around placing all of O's friends on a pedestal then? Well, no, but... You and I are equals. Standing on ceremony will just give us both cramps. And then... very well. Anyway, what was it you wanted to ask? I was wondering what Gilgamesh is doing now. I see. You want to know what he's doing while he has us go off on this scavenger hunt of his for Masachika's Mornblade. Am I right? More or less. He's probably taking a nap. Are you being serious? I most definitely am not. Don't worry. <laughs> I assume he is analyzing Amnalis's premonitions. Who is this Amnalis? Would it make sense if I said she is Gilgamesh's advisor? That spirit of a woman without fleshly form? It appears that Amnalis also came from the future with Gilgamesh. But when battling the Realm Scourge, she sacrificed herself to save Gilgamesh, and her body fused with that monstrosity. So she is still alive, in a way. It seems so. But mental fortitude is not an unlimited resource. Just as your heart was afflicted by the darkness, Amnalist's soul is slowly being eroded by the Realm Scourge. Hmm. It appears Amnalis, while imperfect, has the ability to foresee the future. She and Gilgamesh called them premonitions or oracles. Similar to how Ramada can discern the words of the stars. However, her oracles are being affected by some kind of interference. Interference? Some outside influence has started to distort her premonitions, impairing their fidelity. So, it is as if other sounds are muddling the message she tries to relay. Something like that. Which means this crisis with Amnalis may be what prompted Gilgamesh's decision to search for the Mournblade. Naturally, if it leads to saving Ardra and all who live here, then I will gladly assist. But, I fear we do not have enough leads to find it. Oh, I have a pretty good lead. You mean your blade, the Time Slayer? Deemed too much of a danger to this world, the Mourn Blade was sealed away with its location rendered unknown but hints to its whereabouts were hidden with the Six Swords, of which this Time Slayer is one. So, if we can find the other five swords, then... Indeed. They should be able to guide us to the Mournblade. I have one last question, then. How did you come to possess the Time Slayer? We Swordmasters of the East have been entrusted with them as part of our duties. Some of my fellow Masters are currently unaccounted for, mind you. Then, Master O... ...was entrusted with one of them, too. O referred to his as the Lightning Katana, but its true name is the Thunder Edge. Hold up a second. Where are you heading off to? The resting place of my master. 
Anvil Castle. Ah, I see. You've got a lead of your own, huh? Let's waste no time, then. the kingdom's forces of God. Time under Glacella's command must have made you all go soft. It's futile. We are just no match for them. So, what are we gonna do? If we retreat now, it'll be deemed desertion in the face of the enemy. Leave them to me. Glacella! Let the Waker of you help the wounded back to the castle. Those still able to fight, stick by my side. Oh, you think that's all it will take to turn the tide? Ha! I shall dispose of you once and for all. Don't you dare think I have forgotten the shame we suffered at Bordis Castle. neither training nor discipline. And yet... You aren't worth wasting any more of our energy on. How dare you! Just go summon Rosa Luna. There is no need to summon me. I am already here. Nice idea, this little surprise attack of yours. I did not give the orders for this. I see. So Regal instigated it then. That would indeed make a lot of sense. Nonetheless, perhaps this is for the best. Let us settle our differences once and for all. You and I in a one-on-one -on -one battle. No, it shall not be just like last time. Back then I lost and was forced to live with humiliation and tears for all so long. Not a day has passed since then that I did not recall the cursed faces of Kuri and you. Nothing would please me more than to settle this. Here, on the morrow, each side may bring two witnesses with them. No one else will be allowed to enter the battlefield. I have no objections to those conditions. Then you had best enjoy your supper tonight, for it shall be your last. You challenged her to a duel? We shall all accompany you, sister! 
That is a heartening sentiment. But this is a duel. It is combat fought according to a sacred code. We agreed on two witnesses each, and that is all I shall take. I shall go as a witness then! And if anything fishy happens, I shall protect you, sister! Thank you, Katia. Then I shall attend as your second. Hey, isn't that going to be a problem? Hmm. Eugene must be intending to backstab Lady Glacella on the battlefield. I believe in her. What? Is there an issue with me going? No. If anything, I appreciate it. <laughs>